Bay and I are about to commence our backpack hunt. We don't know how long we're going to be in here. We're just sort of winging it. A bit of a spontaneous trip out to the hills. So we've got the packs loaded up. We've got the camera, we've got the fishing rod. We'll see how we go. I've already bumped a hind and a little snack pack on this, this face up here, walking up. There's no stag with them, so that was probably a positive for us because we got everything strapped up and we got the camera strapped to the pack. Bait and so his gun strapped to the pack because we're just using the walking sticks to try and motor up this hill, get up to the tops. We're getting there, slowly but surely. That was your idea. <laughs> oh, we've made it to Baden's camp, so we'll be setting up the tents fairly soon. Got some nice systems in beside us here. The things you do for fun, hey? It's been about three hours of just non stop punching up this hill, so pretty happy to get to the top and have a drink of water. So we've got home sweet home all set up. How's your home going? It's good man, more luxuries. Bloody work of art. So I'm sure I'm gonna get asked this, but I'm just gonna quickly show you the water situation. So we're not 100% sure how long we're in here, but it's been pretty wet, but we still brought in nearly four liters each of water, just in case. So, and to do that, we've just done these 600 ml bottles in the meat shelf, just inside a bigger bag, and just on the crib load panel there on the XO, so it's nice and close to your back. Yeah, both our packs were running a bit over 20 kilos each. Uh, with the camera gear and everything, I probably would have been around 25, and with Baden's rifle, right, probably about 25, so not too bad. Got up here fairly quick. And yeah, the packs are a lot lighter now with all the tents and everything out, all the sleeping gear, so we'll get up into this higher stuff and start having a look around. Need to find one deer. This one, this one, one 28 inch stag. The one. Bugger. Is that him? Little stag. See him? You can see him with your naked eye over there. I've stood him on the camera, but he's right behind a tree. He's a little fella. <laughs> Alright, it's pretty much last light. We've seen one little stag and that's been it. So we're going to bail back down to camp and get something to eat. It's starting to get pretty cold. And yeah, I think it's about to start raining. So we'll see how we go in the morning. Well, it's been a little while and it's still completely fogged out, so we just lit the fire again just to keep keep warm. It was pretty cold last night, I'm guessing it was around minus three, something like that. Got pretty good sleeping bags and shit and she was cold. <laughs> but yeah, got the fire going, drawing out a bit of gear, just waiting. Hopefully the sun pops out soon. I didn't get the smoke getting you. Oh, <laughs> I missed it. So we're back up on the glassing point we are at yesterday, Arvo. And as you can see, there's a heap of fog, but it's just starting to clear. So we've been up for three hours now, just waiting for this fog to lift. 
and it's finally starting to happen. The sun's coming out, so it looks like we're going to be in for a nice day. Where are the stags, though? Well, we're just making our way down, making a new plan. We are uh, seeing a couple of deer. Been up there for, I think, three hours glassing now, so we're just gonna make our way back down. We'll pack up camp and head over into another system and see if we can find something there. Sorry, camera. The things you do, eh? Hey? The things you do. <laughs> Far out. What a view. Damn. Climb up here. How's that for a view? Damn. Not bad, eh? Alright, we need to go get our gear and stuff. Get down that <laughs> I'll just leave that video on for a sec. Don't let me Well, we've just seen a pretty good looking stag. And we've been glassing for like the last, I don't know, four or five hours or some shit. <laughs> and it's by far the best view I've seen. So, Faye and I are running down to try and get closer because it was about, it's about 900 yards, something like that. Eight, what's that, like 810 meters, something like that. But we want to get closer and we're thinking about camping on this ridge anyway the one he's opposite so we're sort of hoping to get onto this ridge and a get a closer shot and b we're going to be camping there anyway so it sort of just works out well we can recover him in the morning but blinded <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so bear with us. I probably won't be getting much footage because we're trying to hustle. We've got about 50 minutes of light left. We'll try and get down some of these bluffs and that without dying. <laughs> That's a different deer. That's a hind. God damn it. Uh, he's not real big, I don't think. What is he? We've got three deer in frame. I don't want to move. I'm actually sort of comfy if I need to shoot. Any good? No. He's. I'll get manual focus on him. I've just got to stop recording. We're running out of light. We didn't find the first stag we saw, but we've just seen another two stags. One of them I got a little bit of footage of, and the other one I didn't. He's moved through some shrub, and he looked like a really good stag, so. I think we're just going to try and camp on this ridge now, find a spot where we actually can shoot across because I don't know if you can see behind me, shooting lanes are pretty much, I was going to say few and far between, but they're just not even not existent really. Uh, we've gone a full bush camp now because there's nowhere else to camp, we've got trees all around us. Got gear here, Baden's cooking dinner, his tent's on a game trail as well, so the sleeping pads are literally laying on a game trail that's running this way and that's been our only option there is no clearing so here we've got a little shooting lane just over there onto the face where we saw those stags so the morning hopefully it's not foggy and we'll we'll get a look at them Not 
not very mature, I think. Just look at his body size and shape. So I've got a stag just down here bedded in the open. This thing is like 460 yards, so it's at 430, 420 meters. And yeah, just weighing up whether he's good enough. Don't think he's quite mature enough and after the couple of stags we saw on this face yesterday, Arvo, I think we'll be waiting a little bit longer, but it's very hard to get a shooting angle on this face, like a spot to shoot from, so we'll give a little bit of time, wait for the sun to come up a bit more and get better eyes on him, make sure he isn't better than we think, and then we'll make a plan from there. Well, we've got weather starting to set in and we've been umming and ahhing on that bedded stag for a while, but we just think he's around that 26 mark. So maybe it's a little bit small, maybe a bit bigger. It's hard to tell because we're looking sort of down on him, but we're going to walk down this ridge and get down onto the river flats. Hopefully we'll see something along the way, but we've got a big storm coming in, so we don't really want to be up here recovering a stag that Bade's probably not super happy with. So especially over where he is, it would have been a mission to get him, but seen a few deer we had a couple of hinds out in the open there with another small stag tailing them up so that was pretty cool so yeah there's a bit of stag activity going on hopefully we can find something else oh we've just got back to the car that's the end of another adventure so we've seen quite a few good deer we've seen four good stags probably all over 26 inches but the couple of better ones we've seen were just way too far away and didn't have enough time to make a shot or anything like that so we were going to stay in there another night but all the elevation we lost trying to chase another stag we had seen yeah this weather's starting to set in and we hit the river so we just sort of decided this weather's coming in we'll just bail out so done three days in there probably done about i don't know maybe 20k something like that um quite a lot of uphill going from the from the river flats up to the tops but Good fun, good adventure with a good mate, so yeah, hope you enjoy this video.